City of Portland has a wide variety of programs to provide financial assistance to first-time home buyers and to help existing home buyers pay for improvements. Mary Davis, a loan officer in the Planning and Development Department, talked with Leslie about the types of help the city can provide. Mary, tell me what the city's doing right now in the Planning and Development Office. Uh, I know you're alone in charge of the loans. Correct. Um, uh, there are a lot of programs that a lot of us don't know about. Um, right, right. Um, we often hear in our office people say, we didn't know the city had these programs, mm -hmm. but the city's been administering housing programs with federal monies for years, 30 years, 20 years. Uh -huh. um, and uh, recently we have um, been trying to get the word out, trying to find different ways to market the program to let people know um, that we have money available. We have money available to help first time home buyers. We have money available to help um, Portland property owners um, do repairs to their homes. Um, we're doing a targeted effort in the East Bayside neighborhood this year, but the funds are available to any resident of the city of Portland or anyone looking to purchase a home in the city of Portland. Um, well, there, that, that's wonderful. My son is a, it just recently moved to, to Maine, and he's living in Portland, and he is wanting to buy a house at some point. So is there an income, income limit uh, for... Yes. applying for these. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, these are funds we receive from the Federal um, Department of Housing and Urban Development. Mm -hmm. So the guidelines we administer come from them. From and uh, the programs are targeted for low and moderate income households. Um, essentially that means you have to be earning um, at or below 80 percent of the area median income. Mm -hmm. um, people always ask, well, what does that mean? Um, just for an example, for a single person, that number would be 40800 So if you were earning below that as a single person, you'd be eligible for either, any of our programs. Oh, that's wonderful. So it opens it up to people who might think they wouldn't be able to exactly. buy a house. Exactly. And then you, you give them a loan as a down payment right. that they don't have to pay back until they sell the sell property, the property. Correct. which could be 30 years from now. Correct. Yeah. Oh. yeah, it's a great program and it's a program that's really designed for um, a person or a household who would not be able to buy a home without you know, assistance like yeah. this. And we can provide up to $30,000 to help them with a down payment or closing costs or That's even great. minor repairs okay. to the property. And just get, help them get their feet on the ground right. and go forward. Because some, sometimes that's all people need is that little bit right. of help at the beginning. Right. And the other benefit is we work with area lenders, mm -hmm. so they're familiar with our program and they've tailored their programs to help people who are eligible um, through through the city. How wonderful. Yeah. Now what about the remodeling or um, updating their weatherization? Correct. You do that as yes. well. Yeah. Um, we have an, a different program that helps Portland property owners do repairs to their properties. That could be um, you know, single family homeowners who need to replace their furnace or maybe would like to put energy efficient windows in their property. Um, we also help landlords who want to do improvements to their rental units. Um, common improvements that people do, like I said, are heating systems, roofs. Um, we provide an energy audit so we can help them do energy efficiency repairs as well. Um, in fire doors, um, mm -hmm. smoke detectors, carbon monoxide detectors. We look at all of that and try and assist with that. Because all the rules have changed about what you have to have um, when you ha have a home. Correct. And especially, I suppose, with, rent, with uh, people who rent units. Correct. Now, do the landlords have to be in residence or can they be distance landlords? No, nope, they can be distance mm -hmm. landlords. Mm -hmm. um, and what we would do in order to make a property eligible when it's rental property is we look at who's occupying the unit mm -hmm. um, because as I said before the funds have to be geared to low and moderate right. income households so the tenants would have to be low and moderate to fit, income, into, that to fit into that category. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the benefit with rental units is we're going to make sure that that unit's 
meets health and safety code when we leave there. Okay. Well, we're going to have to wrap this up, unfortunately. Uh, one last question. Uh, the energy audits the city does, are those free or is there a charge? It's free when you're participating in our programs. Okay. Well, yeah. it sounds wonderful. And they can go to the city website, which city is? City website, uh, portlandmaine.gov, okay. and go to the Planning and Urban Development Department. Well, thank you so much, Mary. Thank that, you. This was really great. Thank you. Right back to you, Tom.